Good morning, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. I realized yesterday when I recorded, I, I think I was, I've been so excited to get back to recording and talking to you all, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Mr. Willie in West Virginia, okay? Uh, the word today is going to be real simple, and um, because God's really very simple when it comes to us. I'm going to define one word, and it's, it's so, S-O. Um, there's several definitions for it. The one I want you to hear is uh, number four. It says very. You are so kind. Or number five, which says very much. My head aches so. Um, in scripture, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us very much. So much so that he sacrificed his son to alleviate the planet of sinfulness. Um, I, uh, I did, this is my second video, and the first one was too long, and it kind of wouldn't even load. So um, I'm just going to read 1 Corinthians 13, but I'm going to read the definitions of love, okay? And I'm, uh, in my King James, it actually says charity, but I'm going to change it to love so that you hear love, okay? Love suffers long and is kind. Love envies not. Love vaunteth not itself and is not puffed, puffed up. Love does not behave itself unseemly, seeks not her own, is not easily provoked. Love thinks no evil. Love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Love never fails. Now, I don't know about you, but I have failed at loving. I... You know, I could give you example after example of when I didn't love. But when Christ is operating in me, when I'm allowing him to operate in me and letting his spirit move through me, I love way, 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 way good. If that's a word, I don't know. Maybe that's not real great grammar. But, um, you know, you find that when you're in a relationship, which I am in right now, you, you tell each other, you know, eventually you tell each other that you love each other. And um, when you say it, it, you can say it so much that it can lose its meaning. And then then there has to be something else that takes over. And, and that's not... The words coming out have got to be connected to action. God didn't just say he loved the planet. He proved it. And what I want to encourage you today is don't just say you love someone. Don't just say, and, and, and my, please stop saying you love your food or you love your, you know, you love your car or whatever. Love is supposed to be for people. It's supposed to be for us to share with one another. So today, find somebody not just to say you love, but to demonstrate it with. Okay? Hey, that's it. I'm going to make this short, okay? I love you, and I'm demonstrating it by getting up early. And, and putting up with this stupid technology that's always kind of trying to frustrate me. But more importantly, God loves you way more than I do because he looks at all the stuff that goes on in this planet and, and, and still loves us regardless. And he will forever. All right? I hope you accept his love today. All right? Hey, Mr. William, West Virginia, Shalom.